is what it is. I work at Ediana and I have the pleasure of telling you in two minutes what non-wovens are and how they are being used. Typically, we start with fibers. Fibers you find in this box. This is a regular polyprop, which is not a coincidence. It's used a lot in non-wovens. Here we have lyocell, which is like viscose. You see it's nice and shiny. Um, this is a man-made fiber. This polyprop comes from pellets that the polyolefin industry is producing. And those are being spun to fibers. For instance, is a small spinaret or spinning die like you see here. And that gives us, yeah, fibers like this polyprop. It's thinner than the human hair. In these dose materials, we create a web, and the web is like the World Wide Web or a spider web, a two dimensional array of fibers. And that is called web formation. And after we consolidate that, we have made a type of a non woven. And you see many examples of that here in the background. Um, and what can we do with these non wovens? I just put a few examples on this lovely desk. I'm sitting on a chair. The upholstery is filled with a polyester resilient non-woven most likely, like you see here. But we also have many hygiene products from very tiny tampons, typically made of viscose with a PP top sheet to the famous baby diapers. They look like one piece. It is actually one piece, but it contains four or five different types of non-woven. Baby diaper, baby pant, coincidentally. Till larger adult incontinence products. That's the hygiene section, but also think of this filter cartridge, which is very strong material. This is a bag filter cartridge. It's polyester, needle punched. The striping is meant to avoid static electricity. Um, Non-wovens are actually, as I, you have seen, um, they're ubiquitous. They are all over the place. They are the hidden hero, as we have called them in our communication campaign. Um, just to name a few examples, there is non-woven at the backing of this carpet because it provides dimensional stability. There is non-woven in the air conditioning in this room to filter the air. Um, there is non-woven in feminine hygiene products. There is non-woven in the upholstery of the furniture we are sitting in. This is a material that some of you may know from the kitchen. It's still for sale. I think the product is over 30 years old. It's a kitchen cloth. Uh, it has good absorption properties um, and you can throw it away after a couple of days. So here we have an example of short fiber air laid. This one also had SAP particles inside. So this is a common material to be used as an absorbent core in feminine hygiene products. This non-woven is used as an ADL, it is an acquisition and distribution layer, and as such also used in many absorbent hygiene products, be it feminine hygiene or baby diaper products. It's a layer that acquires and distributes the urine before it's being accepted in the absorbent core. Most non-wovens are white, but here we have a nice example of the other color, black. This is a very strong and stiff material, is being used uh, for roofing products. This is a substrate for flushable wipes. Uh, this material passes the GD4 requirements, which means it's genuinely flushable. There are many technical applications, if you have heard in the meantime, but also very straightforward, because this is a regular tablecloth that you find in a restaurant. It looks like paper, but it qualifies as a non-woven. This also is a non-woven. It's made of 100% glass fiber. It looks like paper, but it is actually glass fiber. You can hear it, the way it tears. It really great, makes a very distinct noise. It's used in all kinds of filtration media. Here we have a sample of so-called long fiber air laid. And you can see there are all kinds of big, thick chunks of fiber in there because this is a technology typically used also for recycled fibers. And then once consolidated, like this one, there is a, a small chemical spray that keeps the whole thing together. 
and that is used for either sound insulation, but the same technology is also used for certain bedding applications. Here I show you a sample of a printed non-woven. By printing, you can make products more appealing to the consumer. And this is a product that's being used on a baby diaper. And you can see, especially if I put it against the wall, that there's nice drawings that are appealing to children. In this jar, we have samples of Lyocell, shortcut Lyocell. And shortcut, here you can see it, it's, it's 10 millimeter staple Lyocell fiber. In these jars, we have a material that you don't see that much currently. It's only in technical applications. But here we have carbon fiber, also 10 millimeter carbon. It looks like, like the fibers are a millimeter thick, but that's not the case. As you can see, there are a zillion fibers in each of these pieces. So it's super fine. It also feels like silk. It's very smooth because the fibers are so thin. In this jar, we find pellets of polyprop. So this is the starting material for spun laid non-ovens. This material is pulp, regular fluff pulp that we use to make absorbent cores for hygiene products. And these fibers are natural fibers obtained through the pulping of wood and they are typically one and a half millimeter length. And this is just a very short example of non-wovens that are being used in our society in very different applications.